Hey tribe, Donna here from Transformational Healing. And today we're going to do another spiritual check-in. So if you get here live or you're watching on the replay, let me know that you're here. I want to know what's going on with all of you, uh, where you're at. I am at Brushwood Folklore Center and I'm hiding up near the office to get a little bit of shade and some good Wi-Fi so we can get a good connection today. Uh, somebody is here. Let me know who you are. Uh, other than that, um, let's see. We have a couple of updates real quick that I can go over um, before we get into our topic. I want to talk about staying connected to source and how being mindful and staying grounded and doing little things each morning can help you feel more connected to source or universal life force energy God, whatever you want to refer to it as throughout the day. So um, announcements are that Reiki 2 is happening on August 14th. So there is a registration for that up on the website at transformationalhealingbydonna.com. And you should also make sure that you join the email list so that you can get sales on the herb shop and the spiritual goods shop and all of those sorts of things that are available for you guys. Um, but there are tons of information here about how to use all the different things that I sell in the shop and also how to just stay in balance because that is our goal is being able to stay in balance mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. So those are the things that I offer to try to help you and try to explain how things in your home or just things that you do, things that are around you can help you to stay in balance all the time. So, um, but staying connected to source is to me uh, vital for balance. Um, I don't know how you can be in balance or feel in balance if you are not connected to life force energy or universal life force energy. So I usually typically use the word source, but that doesn't necessarily mean um, that you have to believe in God or anything like that if that's not where you are. All of our different paths have different beliefs, but we are all connected through energy. And that universal life force energy, to me, is the source of everything. It's where everything comes from, where everything goes, and that connects us to the earth, to the ground, to the trees, to the animals, to everything that is alive, and even the table that's here in front of me because everything is made up of energy and we're constantly exchanging energy with all of the things around us. So in order to stay in balance, I feel that it's vital to stay connected or aware of a connection to that life force energy. And the best way to do that, in my opinion, is to be centered. So a lot of people do mix up grounding and centering um, definitions for me is that grounding is when you've done all kinds of spiritual work or you're really highly spiritually connected and you're doing all sorts of things and you have excess energy that you need to let go of and that you let go of into the earth. You can do that by walking barefoot, by just breathing the energy down and letting it go, but you let the earth take back the excess energy that is in your energy body, uh, your aura and in your chakras and in your energy system around you that makes you up. And then when you are centered, that is when you're connected to source and to the earth because we're here on earth for a reason. We may not know that reason, but we're here for a reason. Um, and when you connect like a pillar of energy through you to connect that and you keep centered in your heart and your heart centered, it's most easy to be in balance. Um, in practices like Tai Chi and even um, when I do yoga, uh, when I do yoga or when I do massage therapy, I like to keep that center of balance lower um, down in the sacral chakra 
which is like the belly of creation, but that's a lower center of gravity is helping you to move the way that you need to move. So that's why that's a little bit more important to be able to shift that to different parts, different chakras, different parts of your system. So, but if you can stay centered or do something in the morning when you first get up, that helps you to feel centered in your heart, to feel connected to source, to feel connected to the earth, then you can feel more balanced throughout the day. It can also help you to be more mindful of the energies that are you versus the energies that are outside of you. Um, and that really helps you to focus on where you end and what is responsible for you, especially for empaths, it's important to know if the feelings and the things that you're feeling, especially right now, because the energy out there, not necessarily right here on this land where I am at Brushwood, because we're kind of cut off a little bit from the real world, um, unless we're constantly watching the news and we're pulling it in. But we try to um, just stay connected and be here and in the now um, when we're here. And when you're in the outside world or you go to the store or you're just feeling the energy that is out there, there's a lot of anxiety, there's a lot of chaos, and there's a lot of those things. So making yourself connected and then pushing out a shield, a protective shield of love and uh, compassion for others can really, really help you to know where your emotions are ending or your energy is ending and where other energies are beginning. So you're aware of what is going on in the outside world. You can sense and feel that energy, but it doesn't have to become your energy. So you can keep yourself more balanced than you would if you just get overtaken by all the energy in the world right now. Um, there's a lot of anxiety because of things that are going over in Ukraine, um, stuff that's going on over uh, in China and in Taiwan and food prices and gas prices and not having enough money to get gas or feed your children. And there's lots of that anxiety and worry that's building up. But if you can breathe and stay in the moment and help yourself to make a proactive plan because you're here and in the moment and you're not worrying about the what ifs and the anxiety and feeling and touching in on all that other energy that's out there, then that connection to source and that faith in yourself because you are one with source can really, really help you to Stay here, be mindful, be in the moment, and be prepared for whatever you need to do for yourself, your family, your community, your neighbors to help send people love and compassion right now, to help send out calm and peacefulness into the world. And I think that that's really important. So I do really want to know, because it's a spiritual check-in, where you guys are at are you feeling that anxiety? Are you able to stay a little more grounded and centered? Are you starting off your day with a positive thought or positive thoughts for the day? Because remember, whatever you are focusing on is what you will see. So if you can be grateful for whatever harvests are around you, grateful for whatever abundance you do have, whether that's love and family or something in your groceries store that you were able to get, or things that you're able to harvest out of your garden or from uh, local woods or something like that. Being grateful and being positive when you first wake up in the morning is really, really a vital part of my day anyway. And it does help me to feel connected because I'm grateful for the people that I'm surrounded by and the things and the experiences that I have in my life. Because even if it's a challenge, it's just an experience for me 
to learn something and to be able to move forward in my progression while I'm here. So I try to look at everything in a positive way. And then therefore, as my day progresses, everything that is around me seems more positive because I'm focusing on those positive things. So when things happen, whether they are positive or negative, if you want to judge them, I'll be more apt to see them in a positive light um, and be more apt to see and accept the challenge that that is for me and the growth that will happen if I'm able to overcome it versus being stuck in that negative mindset. So if I wake up in a bad mood and I don't connect to source, I don't connect to universal life force energy myself, meaning you're connected all the time, whether you connect or not. But if you don't feel that connection and you don't um, picture and rejuvenate that connection, and you just feel off balance because you're looking at all this negative stuff that's happened, you're watching the news first thing in the morning and you're freaking yourself out, you're going to see negative things everywhere throughout your day because what you're looking at is negative. Um, we used to joke with my kids about, you know, the orange cars. So if you were looking for orange cars, you'd see orange cars everywhere. Um, if you're looking for yellow cars, you'll see yellow cars everywhere. But when you're not looking for them, you just don't notice them. Um, you only see what you've trained your mind to look at. So switching your mindset to be one of being in the now, being present and being positive really can help. Now, that doesn't mean that sucky things do not happen to me. That doesn't mean that sucky things aren't going to happen to you just because you're looking at the positive. But it helps you to be able to overcome those obstacles faster to see those obstacles what they for what they really are and to not get stuck with blinders on of negativity and to be stuck in negativity all day so um but it looks like we're doing a live stream by ourselves today but all of you that watch this on the replay let me know where you're at let me know what you need help with to be able to stay grounded and centered and mindful um, I'll probably do a whole entire video on spirituality and the connecting threads between all things, um, that was given to me as an idea recently. And I think that I will definitely accept that. Um, and there's tons of videos about grounding and centering. There's a meditation for grounding and centering. There's lots of videos about mindfulness and things like that, but I'll continue to talk about those things because they're really important to help you to get back into balance and to help you to feel more in the present, to be mindful and to just be able to live your life in a more positive way. So I am seeing that we are definitely going to be getting some thunderstorms. So I'm going to end this here. But just a reminder, if you're looking for Reiki Level 2 in the Albany, New York area, um, that will be on August 14th at Star and Splendor. And um, if you haven't joined the email tribe yet, you should definitely do that. You get 20% off your first order from the Transformational Healing by Donna shop or the D's Transformation Etsy shop, either one of your choice. Um, and then all of my best sales go to the tribe members, and I try to keep you up on everything that's going on with the weekly newsletter. Um, sometimes it goes out on Wednesdays. Sometimes it gets skipped. Um, I'm in the summertime is when things tend to get skipped, and then from fall all the way through to May. So six months, everything is usually right on schedule. And then in the summer when I'm out here at camp, working with people and collecting herbs and doing herb walks and things like that. Sometimes it's just way too busy to try to get everything to fall into place the way that I want to. And I would rather be true to myself about doing what needs to be done than feeling pressured about trying to force myself to be doing things instead of helping the people that are actually right in my immediate community. So if there are things you need from me and you're not getting an email from me, you're not getting a video from me, send me a message and I will definitely um, do something as soon as I possibly can to help you out. 
So the shops can be found at transformationalhealingbydonna.com with tons of blogs, tons of YouTube videos on here. And we will talk to you real soon. Make sure you get those harvested, get those berries harvested and get everything going and flowing and stay connected. Start that day off positive. And I will send you many blessings. And we'll see you real soon.